said I was sitting here, and I've been contemplating putting it out on the internet about the dream that I had, and I've been saying, God, should I tell everybody the dream I had, or should I just keep it to myself? Um, a little bit about me, when I become saved, I drew real close to the Lord, and experienced a lot of things like spiritual warfare, um, things that is all for another testimony that I will share one day with you, with you all. But right now, it's important, and I, I know that God has laid it on my heart. I'm not a witch. I know I have this witchy looking shirt on right now, and I thought, man, I might need to change that, but I'm not. I'm going to leave it on because I really thought it was cute, but anyway... I don't know why God's allowed these dreams um, in my life, but this one particular dream that I did have, um, it's important that I share it. I saw an eagle in a field, and they had five foreigners on one side of the eagle and five foreigners on the other side. They were all male. They had the eagle held down in the field. And they had a saw, a hand saw. And they had the hand saw on the black and the white part of the eagle where it, the colors changed on the line. And then they all looked at each other, the men, and they decided that they were going to move it back just about an inch. The eagle was alive. And they started to saw. I saw one drop of blood fall. And then I woke up. Well, a couple days later, or maybe even this, the dream was before that dream, but the Holy Spirit spoke in my ear one night when I was reading the Bible and I was praying. I went to bed, went to sleep. The Holy Spirit spoke in my ear as close as like right here. And said when I was sleeping, ten nations are rising against the United States to tear us down from the inside out. Ten nations are rising against the United States to tear us down from the inside out. Now I don't know what to think about that. I'm not an interpreter of my dreams. Sometimes I don't even know why God allows this kind of stuff to happen with me. I'm not the smartest person in the world. I don't know and I can't figure it out. But I do know that I, I pray a lot and I ask God to just direct me to be with me, to protect me, and to protect my family and our nation. And I believe the Holy Spirit. And I believe that that dream was definitely 100% from God. I know that in my heart. I know the enemy comes to steal, he comes to kill, and he comes to destroy. God does not come to do those things. You know, we used to have a lot of prejudice in our country. It used to be our nation was driven at election by black and white and, and all this. But our country has become over that. We've come over that. Pump. And our nation is not like that. We are not prejudiced, no matter what the politicians try to say or they try to push. But right now, there is prejudice in this country, and they put it back in the form of a vaccination. So now you have people hating each other because they're not vaccinated or they are vaccinated. Um, they're threatening to take jobs. Um, it's tearing families apart because they feel like you should get it or you shouldn't get it. But let me tell you something. One thing you need to get, and you need to get it really deep down in your heart, is that Jesus Christ loves you with all of his might. He's the mightiest thing in this world. He is your creator. He created the heavens and the earth. He created everything in it. He created us. And he created us for him. He wants us to know him, to love him, to have faith in him, and to walk in him. He gave us the air we breathe. 
He gave us everything, the food we eat. He gave us everything in our body to heal ourselves. We neglect that. If we choose to be a smoker, we smoke. We tear our lungs down. I personally will never get vaccinated. I'm telling you right now. My grandfather, he was in the military, and I'm going to tell you something. He'd tell you, do not. They are push pushing this vaccination for a greater purpose. It is going to end you somewhere that you don't want to be. And I know a lot of people say, oh, well, you're just a conspiracy theorist. No, I'm not. I'm telling you right now, the Holy Spirit has laid it on my heart that it is bad, it is no good, and when ten nations are rising against you to tear you down from the inside out, well, I believe those ten nations are here. We have been a good country. We have allowed other countries to come in, and we have blessed them with education. We've given them jobs. We've given them our tax money. We have given them housing, food, food stamps. We've given them so much, and there's something greater going on. I'm not a politician. I don't know the answers, but I know that it's just not enough. You know, somebody always wants better. Somebody always wants more. You know, what happened when the Indians were here? We come in and we shunned them out. Well, I feel sure that somebody is trying to take over our country, many nations. Because they don't see the blessing, they see the greed. So I'm telling you right now, people, we better stand up and take our country back. I mean, let me say this. We put Obama as president. We let his wife dictate to McDonald's how many fries our kids were going to get. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Now they've got us wearing masks. And telling us that we can't go in the store, you know, buy groceries if you don't have a card. Get real. You know what that's going to do? That's going to cause a mighty war in this country. Even David needed a rock with Goliath. God gave us brains. And people, we better wake up and use them.